Hello, I'm Jacob, and this is the Prepper's Bunker Outdoors. This is try number four for this Hidden Holler Homestead vlog, so hopefully this time it works. I've been screwed up in the past by poor video quality and my phone just generally glitching out, so hopefully we don't have that problem today. I want to talk to you guys about secondary heat and why it's important. Um, let's see... The second night that I had my firstborn son, Benjamin, home, we had a power outage. <clears throat> Not too big a deal. It was only out for about five hours. I had to come down and get a propane uh, heater for the bedroom to keep it at temperature. Wasn't that big of a deal. Um, but my buddy Bill Blust of uh, Gray Wolf Outdoors, who I will put a link to his YouTube channel in the description box below, I think he was out for like two weeks in that kind of scenario, without secondary heat, and for me, without this wood-burning stove, that could become a real emergency. So, um, I want to talk to you about wood-burning stoves. The first thing that I want you to consider is that if you get an old stove like this, it will most likely not be UL listed, which means that home insurance will be a problem. The other thing to consider is, although secondary heat is so important, especially for preppers, if your house is not set up for wood-burning stove, you might end up getting about $1,000 into it. So the stove, I overpaid, probably I think I paid $350 or $400 for it. Really big, old Fisher stove. I think it's from the around the 60s. And I can get quite a bit of wood in there. You see you got a big old round. Uh, log there that's about I don't know a foot in diameter on the top and a little bit bigger on the bottom <clears throat> and uh, I did run into some difficulties which you which can happen with these old stoves though for instance the rear of this stove is an 8 inch diameter and normal is 6 inch one thing to consider is uh, when you're looking at chimney material, typically you can go with non-stainless single wall or stainless triple wall insulated chimney. Typically you want triple wall uh, stainless chimney so that not only does it not rust, but it also is safer for not melting things that are near it. Uh, I had a problem, which is why it's taken me so long to put this together, in that originally in my house, the stove went out that wall which has the stairs right behind it, and that's no good. Uh, so I couldn't figure out how to do this. I didn't really want to bang a hole in my basement, and I couldn't find anybody that really knew what angle I needed to get a proper draw on this chimney since I've got about four feet here and four feet on the other side before it goes up. Um, so luckily I live near Mennonites and they custom made all of this chimney material. It's all actually single wall stainless. I wanted single wall because I wanted more heat from the chimney to stay in the house as opposed to going out the vent. But also because it, obviously it was much more affordable. Your normal triple wall insulated uh, chimney is $90 per three foot I believe. And that's exorbitantly expensive. So if you're putting a wood-burning stove into a house that has not had one prior, your difficulties are going to be the cost associated with it. And also, if you need help or if you have a little bit of a problem like I had here, finding someone who actually knows what they're talking about, as not, pe not as many people know about wood-burning stoves anymore as they used to. Now, what's this stove going to mean for my channel? <clears throat> Well, for one, I'm going to be splitting a lot more wood. I'm going to be a lot more wood, and I'm going to be using knives as a fro most often. So uh, stainless steel choppers, which most people do not associate with robustness, like this Kislyar Supreme Survivalist Z made out of Aus 8A steel, um, they're really going to be put to the test. I'm still going to take them out to the field, but they're going to get a lot more heavy use this way than they would have otherwise, which can only be great. By the way, these scales were modified by Spirit of the Bear Design, Michael Spaniers. If you need custom work in leather or wood burning or art, I mean, the guy is incredible. Like if I need, wanted to get another tattoo, I might pay him or ask him if he would be willing to, to do that art for me for pay. 
Anyways, check him out on Instagram or anywhere else that you can, and you can find him on the Dark Timber Brotherhood. He does great stuff. So, more abusive knives for the channel. Um, more fire for the house. It's a good deal. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to talking to you, and I hope that you have a blessed day.